Hello, 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 hello. How is everybody? It's been a minute or two um, since we've done this, but hopefully we'll be able to get right back into the swing of things and enjoy another Nancy Drew game. Woo! Today we're doing Danger on Deception Island. Woo! So, <clears throat> everything has been tested for the most part. Um, we should be good, I believe. Oh no. Okay. Let's do that. Turn that off. Click, click. We got that up, that up. Everything's going. Well, I guess it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this all works how it's supposed to. Bring that up. Ooh, free high chair. <clears throat> well loved high chair. Folds for easy storage. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Can I put that right there without that being a problem? Probably. Probably. Hey, oh, hey, The only thing that I know about that could be a problem is that if I click out, damn it, that's loud, isn't it? Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry yeah, bound for Deception that'll, that'll Island. Work. Dear Ned, here right. I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned. Here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear I think that Ned. looks good. Here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Looks good. Post uh, gaming Justin will probably be mad at me because the audio is all effed up, but who cares? Alright, so, um, Danger on Deception Island is the... 8th game? ninth game? One or the other? I don't remember. I don't know why I even said that. I was gonna, like, introduce it for some reason. If you're here... You know what Danger on Deception Island is. It's a good-ass game. It's a good-ass Nancy Drew game. So, in all honesty... Oh, see that right there? Okay. Because I have a double monitor system up for the first time doing the Nancy Drew games, if I swipe out of it, it's going to crash on me. <laughs> Which could be very bad. Um, Hold on, let me fix one thing. That needs to go over top of that. Then, other than that, I mean, I guess we just pretty much gotta make sure not to move out of it. But I think I'll be okay. I don't think it'll be a problem. All right, I guess with all that out of the way, welcome to my latest case. Danger let's hop on into Deception it. Island. Oh, okay. To learn how to play, choose gameplay overview on Deception Island. To learn how to play. Hmm. See, it, it's every time that you click on something, it refreshes your cursor to the top left. You see? You see how it turns into a cursor? You see? Hmm. I didn't want there to be technical issues. How could I fix this? Because if I go full screen, that's going to... That's going to be a whole nother issue. Try and change one thing really quick. Let's see if I can change one thing and see. Okay, so that's gonna go completely full screen now, all right? And ruin everything.
Oh my god. Wait. Did I? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, oh my god. I can do... I can do this now. Except it makes my computer lag a little bit, but maybe it's only when I click in and out. Okay, awesome. Um, great. I have it full screen on my main monitor and everything. I thought that it would really give me a hassle for doing that. Alright, let's... Welcome to Let's my get into it. Case, danger, danger on, on Deception, Deception Island. Island. To learn Woo. how to play, choose Dear Ned. Here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited. But for some reason, I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Ooh. Kind of a creepy name for a town, Snake don't you think? Horse. Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every Over year's yours, Nancy. Nancy. Washington will do that to you. I've never been, but it's known for being very foggy-esque. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, She's what so happened? Wrong. Damn, Someone Katie? tore the place apart. Damn, Katie! The engine's a mess, parts are you missing, others are damaged. You around all day long? Why Come would on now. Do this? Why was that cinematic extra loud? That makes no sense. Okay, one second, I gotta get the notepad of note taking because we are what true detectives Retrieve the notepad of note taking. <laughs> it's time to lock in, as they say. Oh no. I've used this notebook a lot. We're about to run out of pages. Can't run out of pages like this. Okay. What happened to your boat, Katie? Who would have done this? Do you this? have any idea who did this? No. Look, you're on vacation. No. Just go relax. Or bike into town. Or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. <laughs> Mine's somewhere around That's here. That's a global anyway, positioning here system. The empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Oh, that was quick. Nancy don't play around. She don't play around. Mini freeze. Portable freezer. Wonder what's in here. <gasps> Ice. That's where she keeps her frozen carcass. The beloved great beluga. Checo Pottery Reconstructed Beach Hill Museum, Washington D.C. Special preview May twenty first. Ha 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 ha! So that's an older game. That's crazy.
That's actually a really good game. I like Secret of the Scarlet Hand a lot. Deception and Scrape Islands. Scrape. Scrub. Scrape. We are here at Deception Island. No smoking. And see, so you gotta put up the Marlboros. Katie Firestone, located just off Snake Horse Harbor. Town meeting to discuss Orca, Thursday the 16th, 7.30 p.m. Swinson Hall, representatives of Nat National Marine Fishery Service are going to give their ruling. Now is your chance to express your opinion on this important issue. Be heard. Be there. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. I know that's... I, I gotta stop saying that. I've got to stop saying that. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. <laughs> Guess and George said to be sure to call them on my cell phone when I got here. Whoever tore up Katie's engine may have done something else to her boat. I should look around and make sure nothing else has been sabotaged. Um, I clicked on Senior Detective, right? I feel like I did. I think I did. Sending out huge volumes of unwanted mail. The filter works. You're currently receiving no spam. Awesome. We at Meta sincerely apologize for this convenience. It's okay, Zuckerberg. You can just pay me. Your father's day off. I'd be interested in how your father, believe it or not, is taking a day off. He was supposed to be in court all week, but early this morning a water main broke and flooded the basement of the courthouse. He turned off all electricity as a safety precaution and sent everybody home. Love, Hannah. Oh wow, check this. Check this little page out. Open <laughs> Deception Island Internet Portal. Your one stop shop. Your one stop web resource. Currently overcast with patchy fog. There's a well watch. So they are tour boats. The Center for Appreciation and Observation of Marine Life. Snake. Three six zero five 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 seven four nine seven. Andy Jason is the owner operator. Burglaries plague Snake Horse Harbor. Blue do over this week at Harbor Hardware. Like Blue Do Outfitters, Harbor Hardware is located on Schooner Street. Wow, this is a lot of reading. I think it's just world building anyway. No anagrams that need busting yet. No anagrams that need busting yet. Ooh. Okay. Benjamin Hawkins, cleaning supplies, wash boat, coffee break. Nancy Drew. Oh, the town meeting was yesterday. Hey, that's also from one of the older games. Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. I didn't realize they did so many callbacks, like, all the time. It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too! It'd be great if you could fix it. <laughs> It'd be great if you could fix that, Nancy. Go ahead and get on that for me. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. You know how diabolical you gotta be to just open it and fuck up all the pipes and be like, well, my job here is done. It's diabolical behavior. That doesn't go there. Okay, Nancy, I'm just clicking around. Wow, these are a lot of pipes. Nope. Nope. Yup. Nope. Uh, I might turn up the... Hold on. Dear Ned, 
Here I am on a very bound for Deception Island, dear Ned. Here I am on a very bound for Deception Island. I think that'll sound okay. Sound a little bit better. Nope. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Nancy. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. It has to be one of them, Nancy. That doesn't go there. Don't let your dreams be dreams, Nancy. Nancy. That doesn't I know go I'm there. pressing a lot of the same ones together, but come on, man. So those are right. Don't you think it would uh, curl up at this point, or am I tripping? That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. I want to cook some popcorn chicken for dinner. And it's going to be incredibly good. You guys are molding that you can't have my popcorn chicken. It's going to have garlic parmesan sauce on it too. Cracked, I know. Nancy. That doesn't go there. Please, please, Nancy. Isn't that the yeah? That doesn't go there. It's hard to tell if I'm supposed. Am there. I supposed to be basing this off of anything? That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. They had to record that one line, and they were like, "That's that's good. That's great." She's like, "Are you sure you don't want another one?" She's like, "They're like, nope. Perfect." That doesn't go there. Okay, focus up. I get stuck at one of these puzzles for like two hours and I have to end the stream. I'm like, well that was a great first part guys. Make sure to tune back in. That doesn't go there. Okay, so I doesn't that this doesn't one no. There. This one? No. This one? No. I flipped it already. No. I tried that one. That doesn't go there. Wait, I didn't do it this way. No. That doesn't go there. No. 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 Is it me? Am I the drama? Am I the stupid? Beach. That doesn't go there. Okay, I know it's literally impossible that I haven't tried them all yet, because hence the fact that I haven't found it, but it feels like I've tried every single one. Is there another thing that I'm missing? Am I supposed to be putting it on something specific? Like, is it gonna go like that at some point? That doesn't go there. Nancy, I was putting it down. I, <laughs> I know it doesn't go there. I placed the first two so quickly. I thought that this would be a pretty easy puzzle. Are they? That doesn't go are there. they equal in size? Is that how I'm supposed to? Find out. Like that one doesn't fit. That doesn't go there. But that doesn't go there. But do one of these fit? That one kind of did. No. That 
That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Can you only like, build from one end? this one that looks right that looks very right that doesn't go there no mm. how did how did I find the first two so perfectly? doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go One, there. Two, that doesn't nope. go there. Three, that doesn't go there. Four. Okay, I know this one goes here, so I'll just go. This in. goes here. And it's pretty That doesn't go there. It looks pretty forgiving. I wasn't right on top of it right then. That okay. doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Nancy Drew Trade School. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. I didn't do that this entire time. I never once tried that. That looks very spot that on. Go I there. can't believe I didn't do that. Nice. Let's give it no. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Nice. That doesn't go there. Do we not need all of them? That doesn't go there. I don't see a world where we don't use all of them. I think they'll all have to end up being used. Nice. That doesn't go there. Doesn't go there. I shouldn't have gloated about the uh, popcorn chicken that I'm gonna have because I'm very hungry now. Wait, that looks right. Nope. That doesn't nope. go there. Nope. Nope. Yup. This goes here. doesn't go there. Just give it to me. No. That doesn't go there. That okay. Doesn't go there. <laughs> Please. No. Does that work? No. Can I go straight up like that? No. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Nice. The pipe's all 
Oof. What a uh, easy puzzle to spend so much time on. There was something under the pipe, so... Seven... Yeah, seven, four, nine, seven. Andy Jason. It's called Whale World. Whale World. With Andy Jason. Don't just watch a whale. Experience it. The corner store? Reception Island. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Yeah, I'm not making a sandwich. I'm just looking at the it stuff. Won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something I just in it. I just wanna look at it, Nancy. Oh, is that cheese? Oh my god. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Cheese touch. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in cheese it. Cheese touch. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in okay. it. Okay. Dude, here. What do we want to eat? We want a tomato sandwich. A tomato, 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 tomato sandwich. Tomato, 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 tomato sandwich. Yeah, let me get. Yeah, let me get. Looks good. What is it? Spam? Yeah, we can eat some anchovies. Mayonnaise, too. Just put it all up there. Eat it. Oh, what did I eat? That was bad. Was it the five tomatoes or the three lettuce? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says, Sorry guys, gotta go. I got food poisoning for putting too much stuff on my sandwich. Well, let's just, okay. Tomato, lettuce. What is this, spam, ham? Keep, wait, why did I keep the sandwich? Throw it away. It won't Cocoa be Kringle ice cream? Something in it. Ice cream sandwich? Jellyfish, various. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't need a sandwich, Nancy. We're not that hungry. Nancy, okay. She's holding me ransom at the sandwich counter. Know thy cells. Okay, if I use your microscope. Sure, go ahead. Is the place was ransacked? Apparently a our pillage? saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. We're straight to our next puzzle, dude. Where's where did the sabotage happen? Is it just the engine? Was it just the engine? This note wasn't here before, was it? No. Stop meddling, or else. <laughs> oh, were they honking back at us? Uh oh, Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. I better tell Katie her GPS is broken. Uh, Katie, what are we? This is a weird thing to have to tell you. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. Uh-oh. You think that could be why somebody uh -oh. did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. 
See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. Orca. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. Damn. That's what the meeting last night was about. I take it not everyone agrees. The people that a thousand dollar fine for coming within three hundred feet of the orca. The long way around the Understandable. Sea, which cost them time That's kind of crazy. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. And what do you say? I agree with the no boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your that's GPS a, device. That's an expensive oh, no. fine. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. Hot Kettle Cafe. Holt. Scotto. Scotto's a really cool last name. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Very Besides, understandable. I've got my very own private detective now. You. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. What was I going to look at down here? I feel like there was something. Oh, the books. And the microscope. Oh, I can't look at anything specific yet. Slide samples. Oh, wow. Let's look at some raw meat. Wow. Wow. Exactly what I was going to say, Nancy. Birds of a feather. Too cool. Sticks together. Onion skin is pretty cool under a microscope. Too cool. What is this? Butterfly wing? It's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Ew. Wow. Nice. I guess we'll have to make our own slides at some point. Or something. Let's put some books away. It's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over. Oh no, Nancy, let's try. Oh, you can't rotate them. Okay. Uh, that makes things a lot harder, actually. I think it does. Oh, that doesn't fit. No, it doesn't. That fits. That kind of fits. Hmm. I guess we should just put as much as we can to begin with. Let's see what it ends up looking like. I can go there. Okay, so just trying to run into our first little problem. That needs to be in the corner. Ooh. Does it? And I can fit. Okay, I tried stacking the vertical ones first. Let's do these. 
these first. And put that there. Slide these in here. That's not right. Oh, I wish we could rotate them. But then I guess it wouldn't be much of a puzzle. Slide that right there. Okay. Wait, I can do this much tighter. This is gonna let me. See, like, that doesn't look like that fits at all, but it's letting me stuff it in there, so. Stuff that there? No, not yet. Okay. Squish all this in as best as we can. Put that in there. Carter plays. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm trying to min max the space here. <laughs> and at first, I was like, it's kind of stupid to do that, but I'm starting to realize no, it's not. It's really. It's letting us. It's letting us. It's really giving us some leeway with it. Might as well use it as best as I can. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I really do. I put a lot of work into it. I'm glad you could catch me live. I, um, I'd usually do it at like 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night, or my first two streams, but I was like, you know what? I'm not doing anything. Let me hop on and play some Danger on Deception Island. That's it? Are we in? We're in, gentlemen. We're in! Okay. A boreal. Arbo. Mm. Arboreal morphology. Beautiful. Complex morphological issues? Microscopic tracheid analysis? Microtome surfacing? Oh, that's right. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Assistant Director of the National Wood Association. <laughs> uh. National Wood Laboratory. I don't know why I'll see a word and I'm like, no, that's not the right one. Oh, we can call her. Let's see. We're going to call her Dr. P. We're going to reach her at 715555. Six six three. She offers free consultations. All right. Um. What's up? I think that's Are it for bit? the boat right now. There. Let's go talk to what's his name over at the hot plate cafe. What's his name? Holt? Holt Scotto? The dude with the amazing last name? Oh, look. We could go kayaking Oops. whenever we get the GPS. You said I shouldn't use your kayak without a GPS. It's a paper inside. Maybe it's a message. Is a message in a bottle? That's odd. Rosebud. Oh wait, 615. <laughs> I love Nancy's reaction just being that's odd. What's up? 
See you in a bit. I'd be the same be way. Out there. Make sure to always wear your helmet. <gasps> I didn't wear. I didn't pick it up. I literally just said no. <laughs> I thought we were at Whale World. <laughs> See what happens when you don't wear your helmet. Bike crash land, cycling sleuth in hospital. Teenager neglects to wear a helmet. Yo, deception zucchini toss. What's the accent like for people in Washington? Is it just northern? The hot kettle cafe is where I need to go. Like somebody's running for harbor master. Ooh. Running for harbor master. That's a motive. If I've ever heard of one. There's a lot of hustle and bustle going on for two people. What's going on? Oh, okay. I was about to say, how are they gonna play that? Hang on, old? I'll be right with you. It's been Actually, fun talking to you. Someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? I'm Holt Scotto. What's up, Scotto? I've never been, but I've always wanted to. They took so much from actual. They took so much from actual scenery of the game, like the world world. I would love to visit in real life. The world, wor the world world place is like an actual place in Washington. That's crazy. That's what honestly, that's what I love about the Nancy Drew games. Because even as a younger person, I was able to see like different parts of the U.S. itself, other than you know what is what I see outside the window. That is crazy. I didn't know that that was based off a of real thing. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm, I'm Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone. Well, now, why Katie. would you want to do a thing like that? Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone? Well, you're not one of them save the whale and the heck with everybody else crusader types like she is. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> to heck with everybody else. Is that what you think Katie is? Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Her boat was ransacked this morning. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor. Damn, oh, bro. Like, you were really not making a good case for yourself. Cadbosaurus. Cadborosaurus. Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the snake horse. Snake horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times in Cadbora Bay. Cadbora Bay. For short. Does it ever Does do, it ever anything? do anything? <laughs> Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why Little did they know. Vanished? Well, they'd been what are you telling me? See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy be That's terrifying. Drink one minute, the idea the of being shanghai is pretty head, scary. Into a secret passageway and taken out to a it's like one of those things that's kind of like a joke in like kids' media, but then when you sit and think about it... Survive, he better do what the captain ordered. Exactly. No what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then. An easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Oh my god, this guy's a dick. 
thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. Oh, well, that really is a shame. Tell you what. Bingo Gepis, right man. You know what else I got in my duffel? What? What? Why am I getting the feeling I'm not going to like this? Hold? This is a little Where is this going? I whipped up. I'm thinking about a making a quiz. Oh no, that's right. Market. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business. <laughs> I have a seamanship quiz. Here. The trouble is nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. Oh, wow. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about I've every fish you can probably make money fishing like for. I've only fished probably like four or five times. Years. My family doesn't really do that very often, but it was fun when I did it. And I really enjoy seafood. Are you retired? Fishermen never retire, young lady. After all, what would we do? Go fishing? <laughs> Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. <laughs> no offense, but you don't look like Full a offense, but... Now, uh, thank you, young lady. I'll take that as a compliment. I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense. Instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. This game was but released in like 04. <laughs> over backwards so People far have been like this for a while, I guess. It's a wonder he can still walk upright. See you around. Yo ho ho. Yo ho ho. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. Uh, the sun always sets in the blank. What is the current fine for clamming without a permit in Snake Horse Harbor? The left side of the boat is its blank side. The moon always rises in the blank. I should know some of this. As a fully well-developed adult, I should know some of this off the top of my head, but um, here we go. I know, I know, yeah, this has been some of the best uh, music that's been playing in Nancy Drew games for a while. I, I love it so much. What the fuck? I didn't even mean to click up over here. Okay. Don't click on things you don't know about. A book on sea monsters. Very cool. Oh no, it's a lot of reading material. Ogopogo allegedly cruises. Okay, that's a lot of names that I don't know a damn thing about. Could they be the same creature? I do know those words. Throw back to prehistoric times. We'll, uh, we'll touch bases back with that, uh, if we need to. Okay, I'm gonna feel stupid if that- okay. <laughs> this whole time I'm like, don't do it, don't do it, because if it's wrong you're gonna look stupid. And that, I used to work at a, a, a camping, like, retailer place that would do boats and stuff. I know one is Starbird. That's the only one that I do know off the- Okay, nope. What's up, Tori? You've been summoned here by Carter. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome in. Okay. Don't forget the helmet. Let's go talk to... Guy of all world, Mr. Andy. Mr. Andy, what do you have to say? Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. Even though she keeps refusing to sell out to you? 
Even lay it out there, Nancy. Just lay it out there. I must admit, that is a little frustrating. Maybe she just likes being in business for herself. I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. <laughs> no for real. Uh, my neighbor across the way has a dog named Pebbles. So you guys will probably hear Pebbles every once in a while. That's a Pebble Cam. I, I wish I had a Pebble Cam. That would be awesome. Why do you want to buy Katie out? What is what his idea on the work out there? Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. Oh, and frankly, wow. with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition. Which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Yeah, that is. Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale. If that's Paying true. Passengers, as many as she can safely fit. Oh wow, that is kind of shady on Katie's Someone part. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a Have I played this mess. game before? Uh, <laughs> yes, I have. Burglaries. Way back in the day as a kid, and me and my sister went through and played a fair amount of Nancy Drew games. Um randomly as we were growing up and this was one of them but i played it recently enough to remember at least the puzzles <laughs> i don't really remember the story at all and uh every time that i have played nancy it's usually been junior detective so i've been i've been enjoying going back and playing senior detective and really engrossing myself it's very fun yeah I love Nancy Drew games. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. This actually looked more like vandalism. Maybe Katie came back before the thief could get around to stealing anything. Did they arrest anyone in those other burglaries? There was no sign of forced entry. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm Sheriff the exact same way. I'm very tired for no reason. It was a little bit overcast, and I was like, maybe that has something to do with it, but. I've been so tired every like all day today. I tried senior detective playthroughs a while ago and didn't finish. No, for real. Sometimes I'll start, especially when I was a kid. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try senior detective. I'm gonna be real good about it. And then I get halfway through it. And I'm like, you know what? I've played the game before. What's up, Susie? What's up? What's up? There was no sign of forced entry. No trace of who did it. Sheriff still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked parts. Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. Do you have any idea who would have done something like that? Jenna Deblin. Runs the Hot Kettle Cafe. She was seething at the meeting last night. She doesn't think Katie should be allowed anywhere near that whale. Oh, wow. That's not the type of vibe that she gave me. She was seething at the meeting. Seething is a very strong word. She was absolutely molding. Do you really think Jenna's capable of tearing up an Jenna. engine? I was in the kettle Nerd once when down. this guy tried to sneak out without paying. Jenna was so mad and grabbed him so hard that he was the one who yelled for help. Oh my god. Thanks for your time. <laughs> my pleasure. Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> I love how we're like, do you think anybody is capable of committing such a terrible crime? And he's like, Jenna, go get Jenna. It's her. It's like, okay, 
Okay, wow, you had that answer at the ready. Jesus Christ. Caddy snap model. Miss, please don't touch that. It's bro It's broken. A Andy, do you see it? It's broken. Jesus Christ, going to tell me not to touch it. Miss, please don't touch that. Well, let me fix it. I want to put it together. It looks really cool. I really like this place. I do remember this as a kid. It was very interesting. The way the characters talk about each other in this game is so familiar to me as a small town girl myself. No, for real. My parents, like, I'm pretty sure that's why I'm such a, a lonely person into my adult life now. Because my parents were like, we're not going to involve ourselves in all this. Yeah. Um, Carter said that it was based off of a actual place in Washington. I thought that was crazy. I would love to go to, like, a, a well-watching place like this. I love marine stuff in general. All orcas look alike. Not. To keep track of individual orcas, scientists report the nicks and scars on their dorsal fins, as well as the size and shape of the gray saddle patches just behind them. Also, adult males have tall, up to six feet, triangular shaped fins, while those of females are about three feet tall and curved. Adult males? I don't know if this is important. I'm gonna write it down. Males, six inch fin. see the gift shop all the art looks like this game oh that's wild that's so cool it's the whale museum in washington that's awesome <laughs> i would click out but i don't want to risk the game not crashing but it gets a little weird when you try and back out i would put it on the stream it's how wrinkly all the brains are the more folds and wrinkles the largest the the larger the surface area of the brain, and presumably the greater the capacity for thought. Notice too that an orca's brain is almost four times the size of a human's. That's crazy. They're very smart creatures. Looks like I need a key card to play. I need a key card. Looks like I need a key card to play. Hi. Welcome in, welcome in. Minky whales, gray whales, humpback whales, killer whales. I know your feet's kind of crazy. Hi, Gooba. Yeah, this music's amazing. This The music for uh, this Danger on Deception Island is insanely good. Because a whale well is a mammal, it cannot breathe underwater through gills like a fish. Just like you, it has it must hold its breath. The bigger the well, the, br the bigger its lungs, and the longer it can stay underwater. Orcas can stay underwater for up to 10 minutes at a time, while humpbacks can stay underwater for 30 minutes. Most wells make shorter dives, lasting anywhere from 1 to 15 minutes. Because wells usually dive in order to feed, how deep a well dives depends on what is hunting. Oh, that's amazing. Being able to play any music from Nancy Drew would be amazing. I wish I knew how to play the piano. All whales can dive to a depth of several hundred feet. The deepest recorded dive by an orca was 900 feet. That's awesome. I want to get a key card so we can try out that game. A minky whale. A narwhal. I wish I could see a narwhal in real life. Have you guys ever seen a narwhal in real life? There's so many narwhal memes now. I, I'm gonna sound so stupid asking this. You have a whole Instagram account where I try to cover Nancy tracks a month at the piano. That's amazing. Drop a link. I want to check that out after stream. 
guys are musicians and everything, and I'm just in here playing a game. <laughs> Once you've won all the activities in the center, insert your punch card and spin the wheel. Audio station. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. Welcome to the well wash. A well of a wash. And the price? Oh my gosh. This is a. Uh, who was it, Courtney? No, it was Gooba. This is Gooba at work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get one of those cards. Hi, Nancy. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some <laughs> yeah. kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won, and it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. Nice. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Oh my god, <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll try this one first. Touch logo to start. Never to, never a doll moment. Dolly the doll's porpoise must do certain things to survive, like eat, breathe, and avoid her enemies. Use the keyboard arrows to make sure she eats, doesn't run out of air, and avoids the dangers lurking forever in the ocean. Start easy. I don't know what we're going to Okay. What do I eat? Okay. A bit quick. Oh no. Is that a is that a torpedo? What? <laughs> it's rough out in the Washington waters. I didn't know it was that bad. Um, if I have an IG, it's kind of strange. Yes, I have a uh, Instagram that's Geyser Pop, but it. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the shark. I thought I could eat him, but I don't don't really post there it was a meme account from when i was in high school <laughs> so but yeah you could follow me there if you want to or you know say hi yeah the washington waters are crazy with literal like mines and torpedoes What score do I have to get? Is it just until? I got the cursor right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Whew. Almost drowned. Uh -oh. Damn it. The squid hit the tip of my tail. Okay, nice. Never a dull moment. Swim to freedom, free feeding frenzy. Is this the same thing? Oh no, a pot of wells is trapped in the inlet. Swim to freedom. Use this quiz to, te to help them swim to open water. Each correct answer moves them closer to freedom, but get two wrong and you'll have to start over. Oh, wow. Uh, Mega Terra Nova. Okay. We're going to have to learn a little bit more before we do that. Oh, I'm going to have to listen to the sounds too. Okay, so this is humpback. Let's see. A O A E. It's humpback. A doll. Hers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
this feeding frenzy. Minky? Sounds like a raptor from Jurassic World. K H R D O K H R D O is a minky. Killer well. Killer well sounds like they're dying. Jesus Christ. Fitting. I don't see myself. <laughs> Well, I still need to level up. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the sounds different cetaceans make. To see just how good your memory is, press a button. Jurassic Park is extremely plays, good. Then press the button of the cetacean that You just have sound. to get organized, Barter. match, the button lights will stay on. When all the buttons are lit, you've matched them all. Okay, I think I listen. I'm gonna assume that's the one that I didn't listen to, which is Grey Whale. This is the first Nancy Drew game I beat when I was six. Nostalgia. Nice. I don't even. That one's a humpback. My first one was Danger. Danger by Design, I believe. It probably is gonna be different every single time that I get asked. That's a minky. That's a killer. And doll's porpoise. Jurassic Park is insanely good. I need to rewatch it. The wells are hungry when they surface when they surfish. <laughs> <laughs> when they surface give them a fish the more you feed them in the time provided the higher you score score 15 plus to win clones are contagious no literally yum 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 oh no yum. I need to be quicker yum Okay, I clicked on him. I don't like the talking killer wells. It's kind of off-putting a little bit. Yes, yeah, 19. This mini game infuriates me. Yeah, I was spamming click. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see what the questions are, and then I'll be able to figure out the answers that I need. Is this close? Sea mammals, including dolphins and killer whales, have been trained by the military because they are extremely intelligent. Fond of being bossed around. Orchids are called killer whales because... ...whales that kill any other whales are black and white markings to make them look very handsome. I replayed and beat this game like two days ago. Funny is, <laughs> funny is being streamed today. It's amazing. It's easy to beat though. It is true. They cause more injuries to people every year than sharks do. I don't think that's right. I saw a TikTok about killer whales the other day. I know this is from 2004, but they eat other whales. We, we, we knew it. We, we, we knew it, right? How many blowholes do baleen whales have? Well, if they're asking how many, it has to be more than one. Maybe. Minky whales have dorsal fins shaped like a... Triangle? Is that what I was reading about? Is it triangle? The diet of baleen whales consists mostly of baleen whales is probably are spoilers allowed. Um 
if I'm really floundering, yeah. <laughs> but for the most part, I'm just trying to chill out and, you know, play with you guys and everything. The diet of tooth whales consists mostly of... I guess that would be fish and other animals. Oh, nice. That's it? Oh, I've already finished all the minigames. Nice. Floundering? <laughs> Wait, no. Literally, no, it wasn't a pun. It's just that invasive. The Nancy Drew puns are just that invasive. <laughs> Cheating rarely ruins how fun a game is for me in my experience. No, yeah, especially in, like, a Nancy Drew game. It's very point and click. It's so linear anyway that you're not really, ex like, extremely spoiling anything. Let's spin the wheel. Big money, big money, big money. <laughs> we got the whale watching! We got it! On the whale watching tour! Alright! I'm done with that because so my English goes out of the English isn't your first language, Carter? I would have not thought of that. It is very well. It is very good English. It's better than mine. You've heard me talking this entire time. Claiming permits sold here. That's the fine. Claiming fines for 138.43. Claiming fines 138.43. Okay. The music in this game goes hard. Chaos is Carter's first language. No, for real. Okay, really quick, guys. I'm gonna go uh, run and use the restroom, and we will be right back to it. I hope the game doesn't crash while I'm gone. Oh, I probably should have saved before I... Okay, yeah, we're good. We're still going to save really quick, just in case. It's an old game we're working with. Okay, we'll be right back. You guys stay. I'll be right back.
Did you guys hold down the fort? Is everything still okay? <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we need any other things solved here. 138, 43. Perfect. Uh, is that a square knot? No. <laughs> Bring me a male Dungeness crab. Okay. Schooner is a boat with at least two blank. Oh, shoot. One second. I need that up. There we go. We attempted. I was on Elizabeth's stream last night and got paid, and, or she got me to play some impromptu kazoo. That's crazy. We attempted. Tori bullied me. <laughs> we got to make sure Moza Carter and I actually are good friends. I yeah. I <laughs> at first I was like, wait, they have to know each other, and then I was like, oh yeah, they definitely know each other. Is he ever gonna let me put this together? I want to put that together very bad. Um, we Hi, won Nancy. the whale watching tour, so got to take us out, bro. Well, congratulations! I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. Just be you and me. I'm ready when you are. Oh wow, we're like going right now. Okay. Nice. Have I? No, I haven't called anybody yet. The clue crew is tight. <laughs> Oh. The sound effects are so loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> that was. That's it. That was Thanks awesome. Time. Drop by again. We got to see a sea otter. That's beautiful. Wow, that's a beautiful. Interesting. 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 Am I playing it through Steam? No, I'm using a, a, a CD from my house. My hometown house. I, don't, I say my house when I refer to, like, my hometown house. That's where most of my games and everything are. This game is only, like, four months younger than me. It was the first game in the series where Nancy has a cell phone. Really? I didn't even realize that. Yeah. It's only four months old, younger than you? Oh my god. Yeah, how many ways? <laughs> Earlier I made a joke about um, the, the pipes being like one take of her being like, that doesn't fit. And then right then they're like, okay, we need ten takes of you saying interesting now. need to confront what's her name what can I get for you Nancy? did you throat punch a customer since we haven't met there's only one way you could know my name on the day my aunt Iris I use the digital downloads from her said, store you're my about to become a real good listener and and she wasn't game. right hmm the day my aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener, and darned if she wasn't right. I know that's right. Thought she had a cell phone in Haunted Carousel. Yeah, 2003. I sound younger than I am. I'm 21 in May. Can't remember. Yeah, she had a phone in her hotel room. So she has a cell phone and a hotel phone. I can't remember. Uh, last time I played Carousel was in high school with one of my friends. Um, I do know the hotel phone. I don't remember a cell phone, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Hotel operator, what do you want? <laughs> uh, 
You're gonna turn 21 in May. That's crazy. I'm, I just turned 24 last month on the 22nd. <laughs> so, I was uh three and like four months old when this came out. <laughs> oh no, Tori is completely right. Um. Yeah, no, she's completely right. I remember the phone interrupting me so much because it would scare me. It would scare me really bad as a kid. He's turning 26 this Friday. Oh, happy, happy early birthday to him. That's awesome. 26. 24, I literally, like, I feel my prefrontal cortex finishing cooking, so that's really cool. Um, <laughs> it's great to have. So you own this cafe? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Dublin family since the day it was built, which was back in like 1866 or something. Oh, so wow. you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. Everybody yeah, here is so shady. Don't I don't get it. A couple of things. You mean like the whale? That orca out there you should be rejoined like with her whale? pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy's science degree says. Other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Yeah, I, um, I gotta say, it, it does seem like Katie has a reason to do what she's doing. I mean, from what Andy and her has, or what Andy and Jenna has told us, it, it's a bit shady. It sounds shady what Katie's doing. I know that, um, I know that, like, there are some where the person who calls you in on the case is, like, the actual culprit. Um, I can't think of, like, any off the top of my head, but I think it would be very interesting if, like, we got brought in to help somebody and the whole time we're, like, helping her cover up whatever the culprit or like we're helping the culprit cover up what they did by like interrogating all these other people and trying to figure out who did it but um that would be very interesting to me they would have to they would have to uh write it very well though have you guys read the book this game is based off of which one is it based off of Addie is Addie your daughter or a pet I'm sorry if that's disrespectful to <laughs> he said I'm about to feed her so I don't know if it's like feeding with a bottle or like feeding with some kibble it would be it would be interesting but I don't know if at this point uh also did they release um she's your daughter nice she's two months old that's amazing that's awesome. Uh, didn't they just release some new stuff about the new game? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I went to start doing all the stuff to, to make the stream happen today, I was like, that is a new picture of the seven keys or whatever. This game is loosely based off one of the books, but I haven't read it. We got cover art yesterday. Yeah, I saw it. Okay, so that, that it was official. That was amazing. That's awesome. It looked really good. Very exciting. Nancy Drew whispers in the fog. Ooh, that sounds very interesting. What do you know about the Shanghaiing that used to go on around? Yeah, the color scheme it looked amazing. On, that's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again. It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. Hmm. Does Andy Jason it's ever kind of happened in a lot of Everybody cultures all throughout here. time. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, I you promise you I could. Say, just say the word. I could go a day without your clam chowder. I've tried a lot of different chowders. I'm not really a chowder person. The book ends completely differently, but it's good. 
Cover looks actually good. It feels like Nancy Drew, so I'm optimistic. No, for real. Game. I'm so convinced already the new game is going to have a ton of stuff aesthetically and in the mystery that I really love. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping for big things uh, with the new game. I know that I said it a little bit in my video ranking, but I think that now that they've gone through that one major hurdle of like working in a 3D space for the first time, I think that it will really give them the confidence and everything else to really push it and i could be completely wrong about all that but i'm really hoping for a good game with it um they've had more than enough time i feel like to make a good game so i'm putting a lot of trust into them i hope they do good if you ever want a free free sample just say the word is andy jason in here now by any chance Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says, Says he's, he's too, too busy. busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard. Yeah, he I, I completely agree with you, Soph. Must um, have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. The the thing about Midnight in Salem, everything would have been fine if I just cared about the characters. I just couldn't care about the characters. They just weren't written very well. I didn't. The only lady that I liked was um the one who was getting poisoned, the the one who owned the tea shop. I really liked her. That's the only one that I really liked. I don't like Deidre. Stop writing about Deidre. They've already they, she's such a one note character nowadays. The animation they teased of Game Thirty Four already looks so much better than Midnight. Yeah, I think it's looking a big step up. I haven't really seen any teas that I didn't like. That's awesome. I would love to go through each book that the game is based off. When I was doing, um, they sucked all of the charm from Nancy Drew, and it's like, that was such a bonus. No, for real. Honestly, 100%, I agree. It felt so corporate and sterilized. Um, Carter, I was, I was gonna say, the, when I was doing the ranking, I was flip-flopping in between... Uh, explaining which game the or which books that the games were based on after like while I was going through it but I chose against it because I was like this is a lot of information people are not going to want to sit and listen to it so I might I might go through and I might make a video about that specifically um, and just talk about the story how it varies in the book versus the game itself I think that would be a very interesting watch I think I only have maybe six of the books from the games, but they're all so good. They somehow made the games more expensive to make, trying to appeal to a market of gamers that would never play a Nancy Drew game instead of pleasing the current and loyal fans. No, that is so true. No, you are not yapping. You are preaching. You are preaching. Keep talking. That, that really, that's what made it so... From the first five minutes, I was like, there's no charm. They're trying so hard to make this like a a corporate pleaser. And it's like, I, I understand it. Like, you know, we need revenues. The lights need to stay on. But at the same time, you know, don't alienate your player base. I don't know. Instead of the chowder, do you think I can try one of those muffins? What muffins, Nancy? Oh. Should we ask for the muffins or should we ask for the chowder? I'm thinking the muffins. I grew up with the Nancy Drew game, so the whiplash was wild. What worked for her interactive for like 23 years was fine. They panicked and got greedy. I'm hoping Key has more that connects to the previous games. We've seen stuff in teasers that make me think it does. As for muffin. Instead of the chowder, do you think I could try one of those muffins? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house too. Oh wow. Oh, you get chowder later. Awesome. Um what Soph said about uh what everything worked for 23 years no i completely agree also they served it with butter i guess it's a warm muffin that's interesting um i completely agree about it, it was working i i don't understand why everything has to be redone everything nowadays people in corporate positions are like we have to redo this yeah some uncle fred and johnny rudder right there i know that's right um 
everything it feels like everything has to be <laughs> yeah literally it feels like everything just has to be done to like appease people who aren't there to buy it you know like your 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 base i don't know now i'm yapping you've got me yapping but no i completely agree this was a completely fine model and i felt like it was kind of a timeless model because it's not like these are um yeah put it in your pocket mm. Mm. that was delicious here let me get rid of that for you think i could try bring up the clam chowder now come on right bring it up Next bring it up will be on the house too put it in the keyhole instead of seven keys mm. it comes with saltine it's mm. nice that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. Thanks, Queen. No AAA gamer would play Nancy Drew. Only Gen Z and Millennials with nostalgia and nerds who love mystery and cozy settings, not Overwatch players or whatever. I'm sure the seven keys with the seven keys are sticks of butter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's a sad um It's a sad It's a sad slip si it's a sad slippery slope jesus christ that's all i was trying to say because i i saw it coming from a mile away as soon as they started releasing midnight in salem stuff i was like oh my god i know exactly what this is going to be now and i was excited for the new voice actor and everything but it just made it seem so so corporate i don't know i need to play the game see you around yo ho ho i am but the talking point Vote, hey, stay out of there. Sorry. <laughs> That's kind of a, uh, a kind of a reserved reaction for if somebody was trying to go through your bag. Uh, hey, get out of there. We went from getting a new game twice a year to waiting five years for a broken mess of a game nobody likes. Yeah. And and you know we do we're. We're kind of smashing Midnight in Salem right now, but at the same time, like, Sea of Darkness was the last good one, in my opinion. Like, the last... Everything leading up to Sea of Darkness was kind of mid. I didn't like the Seeker Medallion a whole lot. Labyrinth of Lies, I didn't really like. Granted, these are ones that I haven't um, played again recently, so... It's possible that if I went back and played it now, I would like it, but they were very forgettable to me. From, from, and this might be a very controversial take, from Shadow at the Water's Edge all the way to, all the way to, let's say Sea of Darkness, I guess. Sea of Darkness is the only memorable one between that entire span. From Sea of Darkness, or from Shadow of the Water's Edge to Sea of Darkness, all that's very forgettable, in my opinion. But a lot of the newer ones I haven't gone back and played a lot. I've only ever played a lot of the old ones. Some of us were talking last night, we think a big issue with Midnight was bad vocal direction. Yes, truly. Even characters we have heard before don't quite sound like themselves in that game. Hoping Key is better. I prefer the older games over the newer ones. Yeah, no, me too. Big fan of Labyrinth of Lies. It's a pretty polarizing game, I've noticed. Yeah. As, as a Greek, I hate Labyrinth of Lies. I, I understand. No, for real. I, I could see why that would be annoying to some degree. I wanted it to be... Even that, like, I wanted it to be more. Like, Nancy Drew games, you learn about a lot of stuff. But the newer ones, it didn't feel like that. It felt like a just like a random story you know but i really love the soundtrack I find myself wanting to play it on piano often i thought sea of darkness was a very pretty game i think it's one of the most pretty like newer ones why are we looking at this atlantic herring it's good to visit you last month boy do i miss that clam chowder send me the recipe look Ken. who's ken yeah, it's a very it pretty game. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. She's not gonna tell me who Ken is. Okay, keep it to yourself. Katie's boat. Let's go to the lighthouse. It bugs me when Greek culture is portrayed as Greek mythology. Like, yeah, it can be cool, but no Greek person nowadays believes or cares about it. We have so much more to our culture. No, yeah, truly. 
And that's, yeah, that's, I think that's a part of Labyrinth of Lies 2, where I want to learn about the mythology, I want to see the mythology represented, but at the same time, like, we're in Greece, or, I could be wrong about that, I don't remember where the, the thing takes place, but if we're in Greece, like, I want to learn about Greece culture, or Greek culture, Greek foods, how everything goes that way, but I didn't feel like there was hardly any of that, it was just like, What's going on on this set, this play set? Let's figure out, you know. Yuck! I'm not picking them up. Yuck! These would be great for rock skipping. I already have some rocks. Are we skipping rocks? Huh. Uh, I do not think that is male. Doesn't male have this stripe in between, and it has like columns on each side. A friend of mine pointed out that a lot of C's puzzles are similar in type though, and I would consider that a weakness kind of tedious. Museum is in Athens. Oh, okay. I respect the desire for more full of representation. That's this lady. Nope, that's a girl. No, we'll be skinnier. Where can I skip the rocks? I guess we'll need to shovel this. Can we skip rocks here? Oh, that's okay. I don't know. Does that need more power? Oh no. I'm a history major, so I would like it. So I should like it, but I don't. It felt surface level and shallow from a Greek perspective. I didn't ha have high expectations going in either. I don't need an answer to your game to be 100% authentic portrayal. But I can't see because of the heart. But it didn't feel like incorporated with the mystery world. Yeah. Surface level and shallow. That's how it felt with um, Tomb of the Lost Queen as well, I feel like. I don't feel like there was great representation in there either. Oh, that was close. Wait, I had to grab Oreos real quick. <laughs> but it didn't feel like it incorporated the mystery well. I got you. Did you get a crab? No, I didn't. It was a pretty lady, so we couldn't get her. Currently trying to see if I can... Is this, is, is this our crab? She looks the same size. I think it's another lady, lady crab. Yeah, what type of Oreos was it? This lady. I think some more. Somewhere. The fact that she's like, well, it's mine now. It's a lady. It's a lady. Just a regular. <laughs> My partner likes to eat um, the blonde ones. 
I don't really like the blonde ones. I like the yellow Georgias. I like the regular Oreos too. They're the only ones I actually like. I think we got another lady on our hands. Another lady. That was get back here. This one's a boy. That's a man crab. <laughs> He's so cute. Now it's a girl. No, <laughs> no, I don't need you. Fight the power, little one. <laughs> That's a woman. Put her down. We'll come back to the crabs in a second. Oh my god, why is there a hand there? Bloody hand. Oh, that's kind of creepy. What am I missing? Can you go back to the sign? Yeah. Creepy little sign. You can't click on it. I remember this specific screen cap as a kid because I don't know. It was very like, wow, this is disheveled. Who left it like this? Sound of footsteps. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out, which means you, girly. Girly? girly. Leave. But I just. Now. She said, who are you calling girly? That dude's a weirdo, yeah. Stop yelling at motherfuckers. Damn. Boy crab. Boy crab? Because small claws? Is that is that what's smaller? Girl crab. Girl. Yeah, I don't know why some of these, uh, I'm so sorry. Some of these cutscenes are very loud. Let's go try and skip the rock while we wait for the crabs to come back into view. Female. It's a female. I think I tried that already. Did you look under the metal rubbish? Did I? Oh, that was a terrible show. Is that the metal rubbish? I picked up the board over here. This is so pretty. I wish I could go to Washington just to visit. This is so pretty. I, uh, Nancy Drew games have made me uh, want to see Arizona. And... Washington really bad. Four. Boy. Boy, we got him. <gasps> what did I do? Okay. Put him in the basket. There we go. Yay! I'm supposed to be doing. She says, "See you later, boy." These two games are beautiful. I 
I do not know. Let's do that. I think I've already tried that. Yeah, I've tried that. This game is West Coast, but it feels also very Maritime Province-esque. Oh, it's Rock Choice as well? Oh my god. I don't use the word atmospheric enough. That's a great word. It is a very good word. I already have some rocks. I already have some rocks. Okay. Was not hard enough. We throwing rocks. I should use it in the research essay. Procrastinating. What are you writing a research about? A research essay. I feel like we have to use that flat rock. <laughs> yeah. Women's literature in Europe during World War One. Oh wow. That's a very interesting topic. This is my last one before exams. Nice. Are you graduating soon? I am not paying attention to how I'm growing at all. Okay, flat rock. I have done second arrow. What was that? Full power? Uh, oh! <gasps> I do not miss school. Second year of university? What's your major, if you don't mind? We're getting coordinates with this thing. I would write it down, but we're gonna keep it anyway. Mm, woo, bell crap. <laughs> History major. Nice. That's awesome. I originally graduated high school with an associate's. I was at like an early college. So when I went to university, um, I was 18 and they told me that I had to double major to get all the credit hours I needed to. So I was uh, industrial engineering technology and mechanical technology design, which was interesting, but it was not my gig at all. I do, I do not see myself working in that field at all. I was gonna be like working on big machines and factories and stuff. And while that does sound very interesting, that just doesn't seem like something I do for the rest of my life. It's a lot of work, but I love history, so it evens out. I wasn't very good at history. Um, yeah, I have like a, a general understanding of history, American history, world history, religious history, but uh, dates and names can really slip by me. My partner can be like, oh, King Harry, blah, 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 had this many wives and did this and this and this. And I'm like, dude, how do you keep up with all that? Yeah, no, Carter, for real. That's the exact same place I'm in. I can I remember events, but dates and names and who was responsible is like unless it's interesting. And while anything science and maths is not for me, it happens. Uh what I went to school for turned out to not be the career for me, no for real. Henry the Eighth had six wives. For some reason, TikTok has been teaching me about Henry VIII recently, and he was kind of a despicable man. You gotta care about it to remember it? No, yeah. I What's agree. Alright, well, it's time to unload onto Katie. Hey, so uh, everybody in the town hates you, and you actually have a very good reason to ransack your own boat. What do you have to say? Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. 
fine harbor master he'd make. I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. Well, eye to eye. It. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been She's in like, let me a see it. Time. And but then, like, the chews on it. She's like, fuck it, these splinters. Looks like it's it like, Katie, just get the wood out your mouth. That's odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's interesting. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him oh, a call. Oh, we need to do a lot His of phone calls. I haven't called anybody yet. He loves checking out stuff like this. 360-555-3095. Mr. Casey Porterfield. Talk I talked to, to Jenna. Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boylan, Jane Seymour, uh, Anna of Cleves, Catherine Howard, Catherine Parr, in order if I recall correctly. Um, I know about Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boylan now because of Drag Race. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch Drag Race at all, but um, two people played, impersonated the first two wives of Henry VIII. <laughs> in uh, a drag show like a drag competition show it was very funny that's how i learned about them casey porterfield might be my top five favorite phone contacts really nasty rumor she is ultra competitive with george in the book it creates so much unnecessary drama really those are the two most well known because they made a lot of movies and tv on it okay my partner knows a lot about them, and he, he loves, um, like, historical, like, movies and TV and stuff. He's been watching, he's been watching a lot of The Crown recently. I think that just finished airing its most recent season. I think he stopped it, and there was something else he was watching. I can't remember. Oh, what nasty rumor is she spreading? I was like, what are you talking about, Carter? <laughs> Do you two you not, not like, like each, each other? other or something? She doesn't well, you like can say me, that. That's for sure. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. Bolin. Boylan. <laughs> Bolin. It's Catherine of Aragon's lady of waiting while she was having an affair with Henry while they planned his divorce because it was a weak one, a huge deal. And then when he got with her, now you'll have to correct me here. I don't know the specifics. But isn't that when he got with Anne, she couldn't produce a son or something, right? And so he had her head cut off? Or is it just a different reason? For no reason at all, she had her head cut off. See, that would have been so crazy to have in the game. Yeah, that would be very interesting. Make Katie do something other than stay at the boat. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. See you in a bit. Katie, be careful out are there. you? I thought she was wearing alligator. I thought that was an alligator skin uh, sweater at first, but then I was like, no, that's wool. And Anne, Bo and Anne Bolin and Henry VIII's daughter is Queen Elizabeth, the Virgin Queen. Well, I believe it is time to start making some phone calls, guys. We're probably going to be here for a while. George, Bess, and Ned all go to the island with Nancy in the book. I wish they had incorporated that too. This is pretty early game to have that much character animation. No, for real. Wow, well, surprised that you watched UK vs. the World. No, I just finished it. It was a very good season. It's one of the best seasons so far. I really enjoyed it. Catherine of Aragon's male heir died. Anne Bolin was pronounced guilty of treason and incest from confessions received from her ex fiance and brother under torture. Henry was cheating on her, and she was accused of spreading rumors. Henry's lack of manhood. Mm. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Okay, are we calling Casey? Or oh, do I not have? Oh, okay, never mind. You go up or down. Let's call Bess and George first. Spreading rumors of Henry's lack of manhood. I know Hello? that's right. Hey, Bess, it's me. Hey, how's it going? the phone it's nancy 
While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat. I'm very, uh, Stolinger, what? I'm very happy with so, the, uh, the, the person who won. It was such a good season. It was a really good season. So how's your vacation going? Fine. Except for the fact that just before I <laughs> fine. arrived, it's someone fine. Katie's boat. What? Hmm. As he began gaining weight and basically blamed her for not producing a male heir, and they said she asked for her brother to impregnate her, which is false, and was very religious, and siblings was incest. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Shrek 2001. <laughs> Wait, why are we why are we quoting Shrek now? <laughs> the orphan killer whale. It might have something to do with this orphan killer whale that's causing a lot of controversy here. Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale. They're so quiet. Can you guys hear it? Okay. <laughs> There was a town meeting last night. Katie apparently got a little argumentative. Little Katie argumentative. Does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance. See that too? I forgot life. about that. She doesn't have much money. I can you said you that'll that do, and my mind instantly went there. <laughs> no, no, no. Like that? That'll do. Oh, no. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. She wrecked a roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Oh my god. I don't know if this is worth showing on stream. Um, Speaking of m messing up a roux or used to thicken something. No, it, it is worth it. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I want to show you the fudge I made last night. So, <laughs> fudge, when you make creamy fudge, uh, you usually use confectioner sugar after, you know, heating up the butter and peanut butter, and you just mix in the um, confectioner sugar, but I didn't have normal sticks of butter, I only had margarine last night, and I was like, oh, it'll work, but margarine is like, half of it's like vegetable oil, so when I went to make these... Okay, they're better today. I guess they just needed time to set up. They probably don't taste good at all, though. It, it, I don't know a good way to show you. I wish that I could get the screen full screen without backing out. But they look, like I said, they look much better today. But I, because I used margarine, like half of this was oil. I literally had to get paper towels and like blot out all the extra oil that was in it before I pressed it into its shape. And I used like way too much sugar to try and fix it beforehand. So now they just taste really weird. It's like sugar with a tiny bit of peanut butter. And I really like peanut butter fudge, but I don't think I'm gonna eat any of this. I probably will instantly get diabetes. Not ruined it, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, is there a is there a yeah I can I can send it out to you guys. Just give me your PO boxes. You guys can each get a piece of fudge. And hopefully it'll be good and melted by the time y'all get it. Did Carter also use margarine instead of butter and it produced it? produced extremely oily cookies do i like to bake other things i'm not really the baker i'm the cook but um no yeah you really do need those solid fats i'm kind of the chef of the house my partner does more of the baking but i'll bake every once in a while i like to bake biscuits a lot yeah were they bad <laughs> 
Did you say gumbo? Bess is making some gumbo. Gumbo's really good. She's hooked on this cooking show called Feasting for Fitness. Let me guess. It's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. No, <laughs> they were gingerbread cookies, too. That's hilarious. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. I know that's right. What else have you cooked? Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. Crepes. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't... Oh my god, look how much we have to talk about. You think she's Jesus to Christ. Something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. No, I mean, that's a completely normal reaction, Nancy. What would she be hiding? This one woman, Jenna Deblin, she's a judge. It's worth the watch. I need to check it out. Discredit Old Scotto and keep him from becoming harbor master. So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should What does that mean, so George? Can you elaborate? It's fine. She just has a few educational quirks, that's all. Great. <coughs> Probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. Oh my god, Bez. Jesus. Jenna Devlin went ballistic when I brought up the subject of Katie and the whale. What's her problem? She's convinced that Katie just wants to study the whole tale of Not gingerbread really failure was hilarious. Holt Scotto caught me poking. He all but chased me away with the stick. He all but chased me away with the stick. Oh well, you saved the cookies. I'm glad that you got to save yours, because I tried to save mine. Now they're just sugar peanut butter. Despairs. Wow. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. I think Paula Dean once said that. You're gonna love this, Bess. I found a message in a bottle. Oh, you went to donate so blood at Walmart and I passed out. <laughs> Imagine Nancy running away from the house. Oh yeah, I forgot I still have the the crab in the basket. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, can we stop with all the jostling? The Walmart transfusion didn't work. I passed out. No, I'm teasing. I'm so sorry that happened. That, that sucks. I feel strange after just donating plasma. I couldn't imagine donating blood. That's so romantic. What did it say? She's talking about the message in a bottle. Actually, I found a couple of bottles. And the messages are all the same. <laughs> Give blood at Walmart. That's kind of what I was wondering. Did they have a blood bank in the the parking lot? part is. Well, it must mean something to somebody. Just keep your eyes open and keep asking questions, man. You'll figure it out. Did you not hydrate enough? <laughs> The Walmart blood donation. That's hilarious. I'm not I'm not laughing at your downfall. That's just that's just a hilarious situation. You know, Jenna Devlin may have her faults, but being a American Walmarts are a different one breed one though. You guys can buy guns there. <laughs> yeah, we got a small town, so our little blood donation van is always parking everywhere trying to get people to donate. <laughs> If you ran a cafe and had a great recipe for something, would you give it away to anyone who asked for it? I didn't say ask for it. I said get it. You're sneaky. Aunt Iris probably left it to her with instructions to keep it in a vault somewhere. Does Jenna own the cafe or just run it? She inherited it. The place has been. Do they pay you for the centuries. blood donation, Whoa. or is oh, it just no, a literal just donation? Oh boy, here we go. Well, they are. I can't figure out if Andy Jason is friendly for real or if it's because he's basically a salesman. What does he sell? Whale watching tours. He keeps trying to talk Katie into selling her company to him. For blood, no. Now plasma. Plasma is a different story. Mm. 
think he wrecked his boat, so she'd have to go into business with him. I think that's a terrible way to try and have a business plan with somebody. Could be. Katie is allowed to get right up next to the oil. Um, there's a blood donation place here in North Carolina, kind of close to me, that um. They do like 85 for the first, and then it goes more and more the more you donate. Pretty restrictive gun laws, and realizing I have no idea if our Walmart sells guns. I live in the Wild West, everyone can still carry here. People, it's so sad. My um, my father went to a concealed carry class because he wanted to know the laws about it and everything. And here in North Carolina, uh, the guy who was doing, who who was the the licensed official for the concealed carry class, he could barely answer any of the questions that my dad had of like, legally like you know X Y and Z. Because my dad, he's you know. You can see how anxious of a person I am. I am a carbon copy of my father's anxious, you know, um, demeanor. He he could never hurt somebody, but he doesn't want to get in trouble if, you know, something were to happen. It's very strange. So he wanted to know the laws, and the guy could barely explain any of it to him. It's a very scary thing that, like, you go to learn about a concealed carry, and the guy who's teaching the class can't even explain, like, the actual laws. It's... <coughs> it's a very dystopian future yeah no it's very scary and my dad was like I'm gonna have to sign up for another one and hope to not get him again and I was like that's the best thing to do cause let's see if they'll so give us a hint I hint. think I'm in senior detective oh wow them. They love it when you ask them for help. oh wow we gotta call going, Frank and guys. Joe you smell something burning shoot finance I feel bad for Bess. I hate that she's having such a hard time. Alrighty, guys. Well, I am sorry to cut the fun so short. Um, I I know that I usually do about three. I'm on Senior Detective. I usually try and do about three hours for every part of the Nancy streams that I do. But um, I'm extremely hungry, and I have some other work to do. Um, I have taken, this was a very long break that I took from the last video and now, um, but I'm going to try and get back into, I'm going to be editing the, uh, Curse of Blackmore Manor stream into one big video, and I might try and put a schedule out for the rest of these parts, so if you want to check it out on the channel, um, you can see when to come back in, uh, we'll be finishing Danger on Deception Island. I'll, I promise I will put the schedule onto the page before I just randomly stream because I really am a randomly streaming person. I did Blackmore Manor. Yeah, no, I, I just did Blackmore Manor like a month ago. So I'm going to um, get everything edited together and that's going to be great. I will have that posted and I'm, I have like three other videos that I have scripts for but I haven't recorded so I just need to get off my fat ass and do it. So yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Um, this really was an extremely fun stream. Um, so yeah, I will, like I said, I'll post the schedule so you guys can come back next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys have a great night. Bye-bye. Oh no, my glasses fell off. I can't see without my glasses. Stop streaming. <laughs>